Hello, the purpose of this video is just to review some of what we looked at in the first video. Um, so here's the text that was in the first video and it looks a bit of a mess. Um, immediately we can see that the typeface is Baskerville Old. The text is all in bold. It's text size 14. Um, the text has been stretched across the whole line and there are no spaces between the lines. So let's sort it out shall we? So firstly highlight the whole text. Firstly I want to put it into Calibri. I want to make it size 12. I don't want it bold. Now it's looking a little bit better. Um, I want to left justify the text and that's looking quite a lot better now make it double line spaced and lastly we can see that I've got some hyphens in there resources suitable so I need to come into page layout hyphenation and none and that tidies that up last thing I've still got one or two spelling mistakes so uh, succeed if I right click on the mouse succeed and studnet becomes student the text has been tidied up now second point of this talk is if you wish to add pictures um, which you may need to do in some of your coursework so to add a picture we need to insert and a picture so these pictures are saved on your computer let's add a, a nice picture of my bicycle like so um, but it's a little bit large so you can see that the picture is highlighted and I can just make it smaller quite simply by clicking on a corner button and making it a little bit smaller like that maybe I decide that I don't want to see the the clouds in this picture so again click on the picture click crop and you'll see now these black lines on the corners and at the top bottom and middle so if I want to I can just do that to get rid of the uh, the grey clouds there and then it looks a little bit tidier I can also perhaps pull in the corner as well like so so my picture is now a little bit smaller um, now perhaps I want to put the picture into this area here so that it's clear that the text refers to the picture so if I click on the picture if I move it to there it looks a little bit of a mess so again click the picture and then here we've got wrap text and at the moment the default is in line with text if I click on tight or square then I can move the picture and the text will sit around the picture and it looks quite nice and it's clear then that the picture refers to that part of the text um, if I want to make the picture bigger I can just stretch it down in from the corner or from the middle so that's pictures fairly simple in the next video, we'll look at graphs and charts. Thank you.